Hey everyone, thanks for checking out today's Canva tutorial video. Today we're going to learn how to make moving graphs in Canva. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing that we need to do here on our homepage is to select um, a design type that we can use. In my case, I'm just going to go with presentation. And clicking on that will take us to the Canva editor. So let's wait for it to load up. Okay, here we are. And of course, um, we're going to have to add a graph or a chart here. So to do that, you can click on the um, Canva Assistant button here on the lower right. But you can also click on the uh, slash button or not click, but I mean press the slash button on your keyboard and it'll do the same thing. Over here, we're going to type in chart and we have three choices to choose from we're just going to go with pie chart for today's example uh, but you can actually um, change your chart to any type of chart uh, by going over here so if you click here you'll find many other options such as bar chart stacked bar chart row chart stacked row chart line chart stacked area chart scatter plot chart histogram chart pie chart, donut chart, funnel chart, uh, packed circles chart, and tree map chart. And um, when it comes to creating moving graphs, as of the moment, I only know how to do it for bar charts as well as for line charts. So um, we're going to try to discuss that, but we're going to convert this chart into a bar chart first. So let's go over here and change it to a bar chart. Let's input some details here, just some example details. So this would be 10, 15, 25, 34, and 50. That would be okay. And so in order to make, make this graph, graph move, what I'd like to do is I'd like to press R on my keyboard to automatically add this um, square. And I'd like to change it to white. And I'd like to put that over here and cover our first bar. I might need to zoom in to be able to control it better. Okay, now I'd like to make it longer. Okay, there we go. And the next thing we need to do is to select it and go to animate over here. You have basic animations, but we're not going to be applying that. Instead, we're going to click on create an animation. And before we start using it, let's read the tips over here. So as for the tips, hold shift whilst dragging to create straight lines. Control the speed of your animation by moving the element faster or slower. Stop dragging the element to complete your animation. So let's give it a try. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to do it like that to start creating our animated path. And as you can see, we've successfully created our animation for our first bar right over here. And if you like, you can actually add some motion effects. They've got rotate, flicker, pulse, and then wobble or wiggle. Yeah. And then they also have the option for you to control your speed. So you can make it slower or you can make it faster. I'd like it to be just moderate like that. And you also have um, the option here called orient element to path. So if you click on that, well, it's not going to be seen. But yeah, it usually orients your element to your path. And then movement styles, you've got original, smooth, and steady. I think I'd like to go with smooth. And then we're going to do the same thing. Uh, by the way, we're going to click on done first. And we're going to do the same thing for our other bars over here. 
So instead of having to do all of those things over and over again, I'm just going to duplicate this white bar over here by clicking on duplicate. I'm going to place that over here. Okay. And we're going to adjust that one. Okay. And in order to play it, let's pull up our timeline. So let's click on show pages, click on duration and click on play. Okay. I think we're going to have to let's click on it. Okay. I think there might be a problem. That's because we actually just copied it. It didn't really go all the way out or all the way up. So let's go to custom again, delete path and create an animation for it this time. Make it higher than before. Let's do the same thing for the others. Custom, delete path and do it again. done and let's do it for the last bar custom delete path and create another one there we go we're going to click on done and when we play it there's our chart and it's moving <laughs> all right we're going to try another one and this time we're going to do the line chart so I'm just going to copy our chart over here, control plus C and control plus V so we could have something to work on. And I'm going to go and click on our chart and change it to a line chart. And there we have it. This time I'm going to press C on my keyboard to add a circle element. And I'm going to change its color so that it becomes distinct and easier to see. Perhaps violet would be okay. And then I'm going to go to animate again, create an animation. This time we're not going to be holding shift on our keyboard since we're not creating a straight line, but rather we're creating a diagonal line. So in order to start, we're going to just zoom in a little bit so we could have better control because it can be wobbly. So let's start creating our path now. There we go. We can choose smooth and let's make it faster. And there you go. Of course, you can do so much better than that. This one's really, really wobbly. And like I said, unfortunately, I can only um, show you animations or how to animate graphs for bar charts and line charts. As for the others, say for example, let's turn this back into a pie chart. The only way I know how to animate a pie chart is to go to the animate button and just use basic animations instead. So you've got rise, pan, fade, pop, Wipe, breathe, baseline, drift, tectonic, and then for the exaggerate, you've got tumble, neon, scrapbook, stomp, and for motion effects, you've got four, rotate, flicker, pulse, and wiggle. And there you have it. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Canva tutorial videos. Once again, thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you in the next video and you guys have a great day.